Okay, so... Whew. This morning I watched uh, Question Time. Or at least I watched the, the, the rerun, the recording of Question Time from uh, last night, night before. Where someone in the audience put out a question saying, uh, despite what people think of Donald Trump, uh, does that influence our, our, our opinions on him or, or something like that? Essentially giving way, saying that we should not constantly hate on the man because he's doing good things and we should recognise that. Now, I don't know her. I, I can't remember her full name. I'll try and find it, put it in the link in the dis description box below. But uh, Chloe, who is clearly a conservative, uh, came out with Donald Trump should get the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in helping North and South Korea have peace talks. Now, that was met with a, a ton of booze, but it shocked me and I, I, I couldn't actually think for a few seconds. But this does seem to be a prevailing rumour, lie, conspiracy that Donald Trump is responsible for North Korea entering peace talks with South Korea. So let me put that to rest right now. Donald Trump has nothing to do with the peace talks going on right now between North and South Korea. Absolutely nothing. What is a major factor is that South Korea is being led currently by someone who actively wants peace between North and South Korea, whereas the last two leaders of South Korea haven't. Another factor and something that cannot be undercut in any way is China, China's involvement in North Korea. It's not a coincidence that one week after Kim Jong-un met with the leader of China, he's now considering peaceful uh, relations with his neighbours. It's not a coincidence. And in addition to that, uh, North, one of North Korea's nuclear sites, well, it went up in flames. These factors have made it very, very clear that when they're all combined, that's why North Korea is coming towards the peace talks. It's not because Donald Trump gets onto Twitter and insults a madman with a nuke button. Donald Trump has absolutely nothing to do with this whatsoever. Now, it's not uncommon for politicians to take credit for other things that they haven't done. It happens all the time. In every country, in every party, it's one of those things that while it annoys me, it just happens. But this is not something that we should just let take. We can't just let Donald Trump take credit for this because he also wants to be credited for the term fake news. Something that's been around since, well, before he was in the limelight. But the simple idea that Donald Trump should be given a Nobel Peace Prize, first off, for something that he is absolutely not responsible for in the slightest. But again, to give a man who aggressively saw the death penalty for four or five African Americans who were completely innocent is absolutely obscene. Now, in the, in the start of that, for everyone who doesn't know, uh, years ago, obviously, a woman was attacked and raped in Central Park, uh, New York, in America. When it, the story first broke, when it first happened, it was assumed that uh, these group of guys were responsible for it. And Donald Trump ran ad after ad after ad, and he called for the death penalty constantly. But then DNA evidence proved that these guys had absolutely nothing to do with it. So when Donald Trump was asked, well, these guys are innocent, what do you think now? His response was... Well, they've probably done something, so we should still kill them. I wish that was a joke, but it's not. Knowing that these guys were innocent, he still wanted them dead. Donald Trump has very publicly imploded over the idea that we wouldn't kill civilians, or that the US 
wouldn't kill civilians on foreign soil. He doesn't grasp the concept, and he certainly won't do anything for peace, but he will take the credit when he can. Now, if he does something good, then it should be recognised. I personally can't stand the man. But that doesn't change the fact, if he does something good, yes, he should be credited for it. On the same uh, note of things, I personally can't stand John McCain. I think he's a, an awful awful human being his uh his his politics are fundamentally sick however i have nothing but respect for the man for what he did as a pow he was captured he was tortured for years they found out who he was and he was the son of a, a, a famous general or admiral in the navy so they offered to let him go he said no because everyone he was with wouldn't be let go as well. It would just be him. So he stayed, already being tortured for years, he stayed because he wasn't prepared to leave the other Americans that were captured with him. I have nothing but respect for him on that front. And it's the same principle I put in with everyone. If Theresa May does something fantastic, does something good for the country, I will give her credit for it. If Donald Trump does something good for America or for the world, I will give him credit for it. But I will not give him credit for something he has absolutely nothing to do with.